Hello and welcome, all you Aquarians. Welcome to the last monthly horoscope for 2013 for December. No eclipses, and uh, but other interesting stuff happening with two planets, Venus and Mars. And uh, what are they doing? Well, well, let's start with Mars. Mars is the planet of action and normally is in a particular sign approximately two months. Uh, but now, very exceptional, it's going to be in the same sign of Libra for eight months. So that is a really, really long time. That reflects that for all of us, we will focus on a specific area of our life and uh, we will um, focus our actions and try to uh, become successful in a certain area of our lives. Now for you Aquarians, it's in a really nice house. It's in, in other words, in a nice area of your life. It's in the ninth house. So if you've got uh, Mars eight months in, in the same house, it means that you are going to try to take actions uh, towards everything that has to do with that ninth house. What could that be? It could be studying and uh, the ninth house is a uh, higher study. So studies that connect uh, with, with all there is, university, it could even be astrology or, um, or philosophy or another league and uh, doing a lot of effort there. Um, on the other hand, for other people, it could be that they are trying, they're taking actions to go abroad or maybe to going to live abroad uh, because it's such a huge period of time. Maybe they are planning uh, to, um, to work abroad or to um, have an internet company with abroad. Why? Because Mars rules your third house, which is communications and it's in the ninth. So maybe you are going to uh, start your own business and it takes a bit of longer time. Mars is in there for eight months, so it gives you all that time to put a lot of effort there. So you're going to put a lot of effort into ninth house stuff. Um, it, it could also mean traveling, that you are, maybe you are going to, to, um, to travel more because of work or because you are necessary to do so um, for whatever reason. What else can it mean? Um, Yes, I, I think it has to do with pe people abroad, work abroad, even living abroad, because um, it's also an emphasis on your 12th house this month. And 12th house in ancient, well, in Vedic astrology, I think, is also abroad. So, um, of course, not for every Aquarian, they will, they will uh, take that decision to go abroad. But I think for a lot, we'll be thinking about it or having connections with people from uh, from abroad and um, so uh, studying as well maybe you're going to change your belief system that could be uh, another one and that is something that you don't do overnight to change a belief system that goes very deep and to shift it and um, that means that you're going to shift your vision upon life maybe you're going to read a book and that is going to open you up in a way that you see things totally different, with different eyes, with a different pair of glasses that you are going to look upon. And um, maybe also religion, maybe you're going to feel more connected um, to the divine and, and really try to um, really, a night house is also about what is good and what is wrong. So someone with a with a uh, a good ninth house knows intuitively what is good and what is wrong. So maybe there is something that you are going to do um, that uh, you're going to work on your um, what you think about certain things and about your own actions and your the values that you um, that comes with that, or maybe um, something that has to do with law as well. So maybe you you will um, you are in maybe you are now involved in in a, a law case and you are going to put a lot of effort into it um, and the results will be giving more around uh, the middle 
to um, the end of next year. So different scenarios, but uh, certainly very interesting to put energy into those uh, ninth house issues because it's it's a good house. It's a positive house, the ninth house. It's a house of a Sagittarian. So I think Aquarians will really uh, like that. What else is going on? Venus in the 12th house. Uh, for a longer time than normal, Venus is normally approximately one month in a sign. It's going to be there now. It's already, it was already in there from last month. And it's going to stay in your 12th house up until April of 2014. So a huge, a long time, Venus in the 12th. Now, um, in Capricorn, what could this mean? I think it can mean different things. It can mean for some people, it can mean um, uh, having an eye on someone in secret uh, because, you know, in secret because you can't show it because there are um, other parties involved there. And, um, but it's in Capricorn. So I think it won't be that bad. You know, it, it shows that um, uh, there can be restrictions and it's for the good that you restrict yourself. It doesn't mean to say that that you can have feelings for someone um, and that opens you up to other levels when it comes to love. You may have on another level, it, I mean, it, um, it could simply mean that you were um, becoming more, um, how do you say that, compassionate towards other people. Venus in the 12th house is a nice position. It's a very, um, you could say, uh, it's, it's a position of um, broadening the Venus, you could say. So really loving in an unconditional way, maybe during the next couple of months because someone you meet or because um, of something that happened to you uh, is going to make you more compassionate towards other people. And that's really a nice thing to have. And Venus is, very, is quite happy in Capricorn. So I think it's going to be a good thing for you. Also having, having pleasures in secret, you know, having pleasures that uh, other people don't see. So not necessarily that, that um, someone, uh, it may not happen or, or this or that, but it can simply mean that you meet someone new and, um, you know, you just wait a couple of months before you tell your parents or, or friends or anything and that can make it quite secretive it's, it's not always the like in the books it's secret love affairs and all of that it can be something good and beautiful as well something that that flourishes but no one sees it and then when venus comes into your sign uh, after april so that will be april may and your sign of aquarius then you will uh, open up um, it's certainly a time of also being, uh, um, enjoying yourself in being alone, just being at home and listening to some nice music, for instance. So um, you're finding your joy in just uh, being with yourself, actually. So um, what else? Jupiter and Saturn are making a nice trine during the, this month, especially during the second week of the month. And Jupiter is a planet of expansion and that is trining with the planet of restriction. So those two, it's like the old and the new that are being a bit more in balance. Now for you, this means that Saturn is in your, uh, in that, um, let me count, the 12th, in the 10th house of work and in the 6th house. So the, these are actually happening in your workhouses. So if you are an Aquarius who's struggling lately in, at work with a bit of too much work or with not nice colleagues or a bit of uh, not feeling the balance there, probably December is going to be a bit more in balance, especially the second week of December. Maybe you're going on a holiday after that, who, who knows? Uh, with all that stuff in the ninth house happening. So a very, I think a very nice month for the Aquarians. Of course, this is a global general horoscope. If you want something more specific, check out my website. I have a new uh, order that I, uh, a new kind of reading that I, uh, I have uh, suggested there. And you can take a look and maybe because it's the time of the year to maybe go to an astrologer and ask for some 
uh, what, what is going to happen next year? What's, what's uh, the flavor for next year? Anyway, thank you for listening and for subscribing, for liking and all of that, you nice Aquarians, and see you next month. Bye-bye.